Hi, I'm Tom Scarpello of Revology Cars, and this is car number 113, a 1967 Shelby GT500 in candy apple red with Wimbledon white Le Mans stripes. Today I'm going to take you on a walk around of this car, and we're going to go for a drive. Let's get started. Okay, starting at the front, 67 GT500, LED lighting, both the headlamps and the center mounted driving lamps are LED, turn signals of course are LED, fiberglass hood, this car has the optional quick latch uh, flush mounted hood latches. The wheels are the Shelby VN427 from American Racing, uh, a, a great period correct wheel, looks great on the 67 GT500. At the back, the SMC deck lid with the ducktail spoiler and the integrated tail lamp extensions. Shelby rear tail lamps, which are really distinctive feature of the 67, and the, uh, the Borla dual exhaust. So this is our first model year 2023 vehicle. A couple little neat little things that um, we added for the 23 model year. So first of all, got a, a door chime now. So when you've got your ignition on, you've got um, an audible reminder that the ignition's on and the door's open. The, uh, we've relocated the switches for the power windows to the console. So you have the redundant switches. So you still have the, the up down that are the window crank handle, which is a, a great crowd pleasing feature. But then, you know, if you want to get both windows down quickly, you've got the easy access to the, the twin rocker switches on the console. It's just little things that we're doing based on customer feedback, what they like you know, what could be improved. And we're always looking for ways to, you know, constantly improve the, the ownership experience for our customers. Okay, so this car was built for a, um, a client who is lifelong car enthusiast. He owns a couple of classic Mustangs, a 67 GT convertible and a 67 Eleanor Resto Mod. And he came to us because he wanted a classic car that he could drive and just not worry about. His two Mustangs were constantly in the shop for some problem or another, and he was never comfortable taking either one of them on a long trip. And so he came and visited us and checked out our process and test drove a car and was convinced. So that's a pretty common theme. We have a lot of clients that are knowledgeable enthusiasts. They've owned a, a number of classic cars and they're very familiar with, you know, the, the, the shortfalls of trying to, you know, rely on a 60 year old automobile. And that's a big part of the appeal for what we do. You know, our, our sales rate has been really growing a lot, particularly the last six months. Like we're just, oh. so, you know, what's going on? Why the growth? Well, it's just that people really appreciate the thoughtful engineering and the attention to detail that go into each one of the cars that we build. You know, a few years ago, we would, you know, show cars and talk to potential clients. And sometimes people would say, well, where the car's priced at, you know, I could buy an original for about the same money. Why would I buy this? Well, they don't say that anymore. You know, it really comes down to how you define value because there's tangible value and there's intangible value. And you look at an original 67, you know, 90% of the value is intangible. The value is in the, the history of the car, the, the memories, what it means to people. And that really just depends on the audience. It's whatever they're willing to pay. You know, as long as there's people out there that value that, the memory of that car, it'll have some value. Um, where a Revology Shelby, the value is 90% tangible and maybe 10% intangible. So the value is backed up by content, actual hardware you can see, feel, touch. You know, you, you, you get something tangible for your money. It's, it's just a different value equation. And, you know, it's true, there's a, we, we have a lot of repeat customers. We've got two clients that own or have ordered five Revology Mustangs each, one with four and 11 that have two. So a lot of repeat customers, we get a lot of referrals. 
we haven't done much marketing, really very little, because we're capacity constrained. But um, we're going to close this coming week on a, a new facility. It's going to give us more than double the floor space and will really help us to address our capacity issue.